Hey guys and welcome to our first 3D printer review. We will unbox the Xvico X3S, set it up and do some prints. So let's get started. First, I would like to show you the rainbow filament from Xvico. The color is just beautiful. We will use it for test prints. Now let's unbox the machine. What I noticed is that the printer was packed very securely, which is really important. The first thing we see is a manual in German and English well illustrated and understandable. And now the gantry in a really good quality. Let's go deeper and we have our main base with toolbox. And now let's take a look in the toolbox. Inside we find snippers, power cord, cable zip ties, glue stick, metal bracket for spool, some screws and baggie of tools, 8GB micro SD card with reader. And extra nozzle with little bit of teflon tube. The print bed is secured with a cable tie to avoid transport damage. We have to remove it. And now we need to install the gantry. For this step we only need 4 screws. The construction is almost finished. The same procedure for x-axis. And now we take care of cable management. They are nicely labeled, so we can't make any mistake. As you can see, the printer has a filament sensor, which is very rare for this price. The print surface is magnetic and flexible, so the prints can be easily removed. We are almost ready, just plug in the power cord. And here, before I forget, we need to install the spool holder. Let's turn on the printer. And before we do the first test, let's look at the menu. The touch screen is a good size and has very good sensitivity. We have three options to choose, tool, setting and print. Here we can preheat our heat pad and heat block. 
load automatically filament, move or home axis and choose leveling assistant. Let's go to settings. There are many languages to choose, which is very positive. We can also choose speed of our fans and read some information about the printer's firmware, which is open source, so we can modificate the firmware in any way. Before we print, we have to level our printer. We can do this by choosing leveling assistant and putting a piece of paper between the heat pad and nozzle. Move the paper back and forth. At the same time, adjust the distance with heat pad screws until you feel small friction. We have to repeat the step on every corner of the heat pad. Let's put the micro SD card in and start a test print. As we see, there is an ugly line in the middle of our test print. That's a side for loose X-axis belt. We need to adjust the belt and start the test print again. The line just disappeared. See how clean the print now is. The Benji turned just beautiful. No stringing, no salmon skin, just nothing. I'm really surprised.
For 170 euros, you get a super stable device with a large print bed with magnetic print surface, filament runout sensor, dual drill extruder, touchscreen, and a superb printing quality directly out of the box. I like it a lot and can recommend it for beginners because of the simple setup and for all of you interested in 3D printing. In video description, you will find the links to the printer and Axveco's filaments. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel.